Hello again in the Docker series. It's a pretty vital skill to learn how to build your own Docker images so that you can put your Java application inside those Docker images later on. And first things first, in this episode, you're going to learn how to build your very first vanilla Java-based or Java-ready Docker image. So let's get started. All right, so our goal is to build an image which has Ubuntu running as its operating system and has Java pre-installed. And you might be thinking, oh God, no, I don't want to do it because such an image already exists in the Docker Hub. And you're completely right, but this is an exercise and I want you to get going as quickly as possible with Docker. So go to a empty directory. You can see it's in CDF Docker tests on my machine and it's an empty directory. And inside, what you want to do is you want to create a file and you call it Docker file. No extension, no dot, no nothing, right? And inside your Docker file, let's start with the from directive. The from directive basically says, which Docker image do you want to use or base upon? And because we know there's already an Ubuntu image in the official repository and even different versions like the 1804 version, we can simply say, well, base our image on Ubuntu 1804. And that's all you need. Then you can specify the maintainer. That is your claim to fame here. So you can go, or I could go, I'm the maintainer, Marco Bila, write my email address, put it in here. Great. And then now these two lines, or actually rather this line, should give me an Ubuntu operating system, an empty one. And you can execute commands on that operating system with the run directive. And you could say, well, let's just quickly update all the repositories. And then after you update them, try to install the default JDK that comes with Ubuntu 18.04. And that should probably install me Java 10 or Java 11. We'll see in a second. But that's pretty much all you need. Your Docker file contains the base image, the maintainer, and then what it should do to create that image. Right. So go to the command line. And now it's time to build that image. So what you want to do is you want to run docker build and then a name here, tag name here. So you could call it uh, virgin Java or something similar and a dot for the current directory. Hit enter. And as you can see is step one or three is from Ubuntu 18.04 is fine. The maintainer line is fine. And then you see our run command executing and that could take a while. So I'll speed this up. But as you can see, OpenJDK 11, the package is being installed and that looks very promising actually. All right, that took a while. And as you can see, Docker says successfully built, but I just wanna make sure, I wanna list all the images on my machine. And you can see there's a virgin Java image here. So that looks promising. And now what you can do, if, especially if you watched the previous episode, run your Docker image as a container, get an interactive terminal, virgin Java, the name, and then execute a command. That is the bash command, so we get a shell. And then immediately you can see your host name changed. You're inside the container. Let's have a quick look. You'll see all the directories here, just to make sure you're actually on an Ubuntu machine. You can do cat of the etc lsp release. You'll see it's, it's indeed 18.04 Ubuntu. And hopefully this works. Java dash dash version. Right, that worked. You can see OpenJDK 10 is installed. And you might be wondering why is that? Didn't we see the OpenJDK 11 package? And that's because I think Ubuntu actually bundles OpenJDK 10 under the 11 package. Why that is the case, it's a completely different story and uh, we can talk about it in a later episode. All right, you can now exit your Docker container again. And time went by so fast, but indeed you just learned how to build your very own Docker image. Congratulations. Just for practice, play a bit around yourself and build a couple of Docker images and install any software you want. 
And up next, you're going to learn how to put your Java application, a simple Hello World application, inside that Docker image. And the keyword is pipelines. So let's get right after it.